Could, uh, could your summer flight be at risk because there's no fuel uh, for the plane? Brian Sullivan joins us now with more on a jet fuel shortage, right when we all want to fly, Brian. Oh, by the way, Lonely as the Night destroyed Billy Squire's career. The video with him ripping off his tank top and doing this weird dance. True story. Look it up. All right, guys, if you are flying this summer, come back to me. Come back to me with that after this segment. All right. They're Googling it right now. If you're flying this summer, double check on your flight, not just because of crowding or staff shortages at the airport, because of jet fuel and whether or not your plane is going to have the gas it takes or needs to take off. There is growing concern about regional shortages of jet fuel, particularly here in the Northeast. Remember, we already had a scare in March in Texas when Austin's airport warned passengers there may be a problem with jet fuel supplies. Their jet fuel storage tanks, by the way, the same size they were in 1999 when Austin had 30% fewer people. Seems like bad planning to me, but hey, that's just me. Anyway, here in the busiest travel corridor in America, Jet fuel inventories from Philly to Boston are at or near record lows since the data began being collected in 1990. Look at these January numbers, the latest data we have, by the way. But reports and sources saying the numbers now look about the same as they did in January. Jet fuel supplies here in the East Coast are down for a couple of reasons. Number one, strong demand for flying. Phil Lebeau is going to ask the American CEO about that in a moment. And two, reduced output because refineries, some have switched over to diesel fuel, which is in shorter supply and more profitable because of Russia's sanctions. And while jet fuel shortages are not likely everywhere, there are some airports that are already potentially running low, specifically Philadelphia, Boston, Logan, and Albany, New York. Andy Lippow, Lippow All Associates, he and I went back and forth yesterday, told me jet fuel was recently, like yesterday, being trucked in from Ohio to Albany and Philadelphia and from lower Virginia into Boston. Guys, trucking jet fuel from that far away seems odd, so I asked Andy if that was normal, and he said this, quote, it's about as normal as rain in the Sahara. So the fact that these airports need to get fuel from a 1,000 or whatever more miles away is a bit of a warning sign for the summer because demand, as we know, is only going to pick up a little better in the Midwest and the West Coast where inventory is at normal levels, but here in the Northeast, where we just get hosed on everything, it seems, if we see demand pop and refinery output not pick up, you may want to double check on that flight, especially in Philly, New York, and Boston.